last week, I think, but I've been hecka busy. I had 36 advent calendars to make and a bunch of tech orders that I'm trying to do now and then Thanksgiving and then, wow, I've literally just been so busy. So I'm finally getting the chance to open her and I'm very excited because all of the in-hand photos of her are so cute. I've seen a lot of people complain that she's super small, so at least we know that going in, but she's supposed to be a pony, isn't she? I don't know. A few updates before we get started. Castles and Cobbs is gonna have to be delayed because I was so busy and did not have a chance to film. And then I have finals this week and next, so. I'm gonna need at least two weeks to be able to get caught up and also get it filmed. So I will post the updated date, like right here as I'm editing. And then also in the description down below and then I'll make an announcement on the community tab for everybody who has not seen this. And then I'll post it on Instagram too. So updates everywhere. I have a giveaway coming up soon, which will be in the community tab. So be sure to keep an eye out on that. If you hit the notification bell, you will be notified as soon as I upload the giveaway. I'm giving away Gingerbread, the little pony, but I need to make a halter set or something to go with him. My next restock was delayed. Again, advent calendars took up my entire life. I was basically working from like seven in the morning to like 12 at night, every single day. So everything's been pushed back. So that is now December 14th at 4 p.m. Central Time. So if you want anything for Christmas, be sure to tell your parents or Santa. And I think that's it. I think we're caught up. So now without any further ado, let's open Astrid. I'm very unsafe with scissors. I feel like she was supposed to be released like three months ago or something, but at least we have her now. As a Premier Club model, she is going to come in a very fancy box. Don't need that one anymore. And here's her box. Look how cute this is. So as you can tell, Astrid is a fjord and she's a grula, I think, or just gray. I don't know what the fjords are called. Here we have the front of Astrid's box. I'm trying not to get like the ring light in it. And then the side of Astrid's box, the top, the bottom, and the back. I don't know if y'all can read that. I'm so excited. I literally wanted an updated fjord for so long. So thank you, Briar, for finally making one. Let's open her. There's a lot of tape on this box, okay. All right, so here is her COA. All of the Premier Club models come with their certificate of authenticity. Here is Astrid in her velvet bag. Wow, that was really anticlimactic. I thought it was gonna untie. Ah, there we go. Oh, I'm so excited. I broke my light, by the way. Yeah. So much bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, she really is tiny. Look at how small she is. Oh, she's so pretty. Just a petite little girl. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll have to put her next to Naga, who is my bunny fjord, because she's tiny. Look at how small this girl is. Just a little bean. <laughs> Look at her. Okay, so first off, her color is absolutely stunning. I'm a huge sucker for the mohawk mane that fjords have. She's got like red in her nose. It kind of looks like she's crazy, but that's okay. I've never seen Briar actually put red in a model's nose before, so that's an interesting little addition. And then it looks like she's got some faint leg barring and some very subtle dapples. This girl is so cute and so small. Y'all are gonna need a close-up of this cutie, so let's get to it. All right, y'all, so here's just an overview of Astrid's color, and just look at how beautiful it is. The premiere club models always have so much detail in their color. Just look at her shading. All right, so we're gonna start out on her face and you can see that she's got the tiniest little star on her forehead and very detailed eyes. Her eyes are kind of like a golden brown, a little grayed out actually. That's so cool. Her forelock does cover her right ear and her face just has so much muscle detailing. Honestly, I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to tell, but can you see the red in her nose? That's an interesting detail. Here's her floofy as heck stand up little mohawk mane. And then as we work our way down, just get a load of that shading, y'all. Oh my goodness. And then on her barrel, you can see a very faint dappling, which I didn't even know she was gonna have that. So that's a very cool detail that Briar added. And then as we work our way down, you can see that she's got leg barring and then her legs go super dark and then lighter at the cannon bone and then dark again. Little tiny feathering is so cute. 
it. Very nicely done dorsal stripe, y'all. Look at that. And then it bleeds off into her tail, which is ombre. It does start out lighter at the top, and then it goes very dark to the bottom. And then here's just a look at that booty and her back legs. This mold might be small, but it is mighty, y'all. Look at the detail. Here is a look at her head on. She is very skinny, so she's not going to take up that much shelf space. But look at that face. She just looks so focused. I don't show my models, but this this would be such a cool girl to enter into some performance classes. Just look at that movement she has and how flowy her tail is. Since she doesn't have any markings, she's basically the same on this side. So I'll just give you all a nice overview of all of her color. You can see those dapples on this side and she does have really cool shading at the withers. And here's just a look at her back legs. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the feather detailing on all four legs? Look at how crazy cool that is. Is. And then just a look from behind. Detail beauties! Okay, Astrid has a crazy amount of detail on her, but I think that y'all aren't gonna be able to grasp the full concept of actually how small she is until I compare her to some other molds. So let's do it. For all my bunny fans out there, here we have Naga next to Astrid. Look at this! Naga is huge compared to Astrid. Since Astrid is a pony, she's very close inside to the Welsh mare mold and the Peter Stone pony, but she is a lot smaller than the horse molds like the Warm Blood Stallion and I can't remember the name of this mold, but she's a lot smaller than that guy. Okay, this shouldn't even count. Why is Truffle so big? All right, hopefully y'all enjoyed your close-up of Astrid. She's so cute and tiny. So she will be keeping the name of Astrid because if y'all know, I am a huge How to Train Your Dragon fan and the first Premier Club model from this year has been named Hiccup and now we got Hiccup and Astrid though the height difference is a little scary but that's okay we're gonna ignore that I am literally so excited for the last Premier Club model this year which is going to be a Marin full set y'all the fall is so cute and same with the mare I'm just so excited to see their color in person and mini Fireheart is that what we're getting for the stable me all right y'all so it's actually in the end of today's YouTube video thank you so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed and if you did please remember slap that like button as hard as you possibly can to show this YouTube video and Astrid a little bit of love. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore priors. I post it on there daily and I'm super active on there. And whenever I get photos again, I don't know when that's gonna be. You'll see photos of Astrid. So tiny, so small, so cute. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload and the giveaway that will be happening within like the next week or two. I just need to get it all set up and then I'll get it posted and then everybody can enter. And other than that, y'all, yeah, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! We rise up from the dust and clean my throat. Hello? Huh? What? Interesting. What? Down here. What? Huh? Act like you've seen a pony before, okay? <gasps> I'm so sorry. I really did not see you there. All you horses are the same. <laughs> that goes for ponies too. All you'll think about is your height. Do you want to fight? Because I'm pretty sure I could take you on and win. I don't fight mares. Wow. Good for you. <sighs> Why do all ponies just want to fight? Listen here, buddy. I'm this close to taking that stall door down and beating you up. Okay. I'd like to see you try. The door's the size of you. That's it. 